Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Kostis. If it's not, welcome back. Junior Eurovision 2023 is closer and closer and another song was released and I'm talking about Ukraine. Ukraine have a national final and they chose Anastasia Dimit and with the song Kvitka. In the national final, there were both jury and public vote, uh, voting, and uh, it was counting 50-50. Anastasia came first in the public vote and second in the jury vote, which makes me very curious to see what this song is about. I haven't reacted to the beer, so my reaction is going to be a first. It's the first time I'm going to listen to the song. I've avoided all of the videos from other reactors, I've avoided the top five, six, whatever. I've avoided reactions, I've avoided everything. I was waiting for this moment when Ukraine will decide. And now Ukraine decided and I will react. So let's watch what Anastasia did in the national final at the at Vidbir with the song Kvitka, from, and which from what I saw means flower. Okay, she starts very slow, like a ballad, but then there were strobe lights, which was very interesting. Also, the setting is amazing. Oh my god, and this is so cute and so young. She must be the youngest one we've had, we're having so far for during Eurovision 2023. And the setting is, look at that, the staging. It looks like a fairy tale. And uh, we can see flowers as well, what is what Kvitka means. Oh my god! That was so cute! I wasn't expecting that. I mean, something with the strobe lights was telling me that it's not gonna stay to a ballad, but the way it came in, it's like, um, it has something traditional in it as well. Oh my god! That's so cute! It's very cute. It has an energy, like the song by itself has an energy, a very unique energy. Like, I think that um, Ukrainian music is unique anyway, like from what we've seen in the adult Eurovision. I'm always impressed, especially when they uh, incorporate traditional music, like and traditional instruments. I'm not sure what this song has, but it sounds different in my ears, and I guess there is there is some tradition in the music as well. And I love I didn't mention that I didn't say that before, but I've noticed I love that um, like her outfit is in the flag the color the flag colors, but it's also it has some embellishments on it. Oh. Can I also say that the choreography is very slick, like very specific, and the kids are executing it very well. What a voice! Like she just hits the notes. She's not she's not climbing to get to the notes. She's like hit it. This is great. Oh my god, it's so cute! What does she say? I want to know. What does the song say? Is it... Uh, from what I get from her energy, it feels like she wants flowers for everyone. Or this is just in my mind. I don't know. Also, what... A performance is she, she's doing like 
her energy and her confidence, like how old is she? And she's not stressed at all. <laughs> Oh my god, Anastasia, the way she said it, how old is Anastasia, it's crazy, the way she said that, it was, um, it just, uh, you know, it's like she, she grabbed my heart and she like did this, I don't know what else to say about that, this is not the channel to talk about that, uh, this is a fun channel, but uh, this is really happening, and it's serious. And uh, art is political, and I'm happy that Ukraine is not afraid to talk about what's happening in their songs, in Eurovision, because people shouldn't forget until it stops. <laughs> She's just amazing. She's just amazing. So, Anastasia and Kvitka. Um, that was a very fun song. I loved the element of tradition in the music and I loved her energy and how young she is. And she has this energy and this... Um, I just loved it. Do I think it will win? I don't think it will win. This year we have, um, so far, we have a very strong song from the Netherlands, which is a favorite in the fandom, in the bubble. And uh, I think France is following them. Like, she's, she's really, like, second place, and she might grab the first place, we'll see. But then... This one, uh, I think uh, Kvitka will, will be a standout in the competition. Like, there's no way you're going to lose it in the lineup of the songs. It's going to stand out. Um, I don't believe it's going to come first. But I think it's, a ver it's very strong. And maybe, who knows, maybe they'll do something and uh, people will love it. Actually, for her being the youngest, singing with this energy and sending beautiful messages, Maybe, maybe it will give it a chance to come first. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. What do you think? Do you like the song that uh, Ukraine chose uh, from Vit Beer? Did you have a different one that you preferred? I haven't seen the song, so I have no idea. Let me know in the comments everything you think. Please try to be respectful in the comments because we're talking about kids. I don't want them to see anything weird on, in the comments. So if I see something disrespectful, I'm gonna delete it. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, follow me on the social media, Instagram, TikTok, and uh, Twitter at Kostis underscore ESC. And see you very soon at another video. Bye!